All I've heard for the past week is people talking about Infinity War. Meanwhile, I'm just really excited about the fact that the Venom trailer came out. I'm also a little bit annoyed because I wanted to make this video creating Venom with a 3D pen well before that trailer came out. And now that the trailer came out and as of last count has over 50 million views, people are going to be thinking I'm riding on the coattails of the popular Venom thing coming out. No, I wanted to do this longer, but it, I just took, I just, P procrastinated too much and now I am riding the coattails of someone else's popularity. Oh well, I'll take it. <laughs> G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and it's been a while since we've had some fun with the 3D pen and I have wanted to come back and make Venom with the 3D pen, Venom or Carnage, a symbiote anyway, because the alienness comes out and it, it, it feels like it really suits the aesthetic of a 3D pen, is what I'm trying to say. Now the last time I played with the 3D pen I ended up with this beautiful creature here. This is the Jazza avatar brandishing a pencil. Now it's quite fitting that this dude doesn't actually stand up without the help of blue tack because I feel like that sort of represents my own lack of coordination. And to further reinforce that point, I'll just uh, confess that literally five minutes ago, I broke him. That's quite good. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Ah! God damn it, why am I so freaking clumsy? But that's okay because with every problem I see an opportunity. And this is an opportunity to test out the new Scribbler Duo pen that I have. This is a prototype they sent me, which has the ability to use two filaments at once. So that should be fun. And then I also was sent the 3D Mate Trio from the people who make this. It's a 3D pen mat that you lay down and in theory you can uh, you can 3D pen draw inside these grooves and it will hold the shape and then you can take it out and build structures or at least the foundation of the structures that you're gonna fill in later. I also have a bit of a sculpture stand so that as I create my Venom sculpture, I can turn it around as I go. I have some random sculpt- Remember what I said about coordination? Let me just go pick this up. Ow, I just literally just stabbed myself with the- the sharp thing in this bag. Look, it's, it's <laughs> ah. I should not be trusted with sharp objects. Who gave me this? I need an adult. As I was saying, I have this bag of sculpture tools, uh, which will be useful hopefully to help shape things, especially if I'm trying to draw in midair. What I did find really useful last time is the, uh, the little nail scissors to sort of snip off the tiny stragglers. And then last but not least, while I do have this 3D mat, last time I sculpted my character entirely around my toddler's toy plastic fruit. So as helpful as these tools may be, don't ever underestimate the practical use of your children's playthings. <laughs> this is literally all of the filament of the colors that I'm hoping will make up Venom and make him look cool that I have. I'm gonna start off by testing some of my new tools and I'm gonna use them <laughs> to, to, to fix myself. It came with uh, some sample filament, so let's have a go with this stuff. Now this is preheating and it only just occurred to me, because I'm an idiot, <laughs> that the 3D Mate comes with a huge amount of filament. That's cool, let's, let's get some of this out. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> it comes with a 3D pen and it's a USB charged one. Okay, major props. Major props. If you want to get into 3D pen making, the 3D Mate is uh, probably a good way to get started. Let's not have the conversation about how stupid I am to have missed this. <laughs> oh, oh, here we, here we go. Here we go. It's happening. It's happening. Are you gonna, oh, no, it's still free. Oh, 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 ah, ah. Okay, we're in business. Oh man, I forgot how slow this is. But I did make this in about five minutes. That's kind of cool. I mean, it definitely came out very geometrically nice and straight. So you could absolutely build like the, the core structures of things with this. While I would think this mat in particular would be more useful for like buildings and robots and stuff like that, because I'm gonna today attempt to be creating a much more sort of uh, organic 
looking figure in Venom, someone with musculature and alien symbiote bits coming out in all directions, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use this mat, if at all. But it's there if I need it, and it's, it's really cool and it's really clean, so just, you know, worth looking into if you wanna actually make something more geometric. Time to perform some quick surgery. I'm sorry, I have such low coordination, little jazzy dude. All right, there we go. It's probably not gonna hold through a hurricane, but hopefully it'll hold together through a couple more years of being surrounded by my terrible coordination. Let's put you off to the side, and there you go. I'm gonna set up my working area, clear up my space a bit, and uh, I guess there's nothing to it, but uh, getting started. I need to get a cool pose first and foremost. From there, I'll start to fill in the anatomy and then the geometry, but we need to start simple and work our way up from there. As I expected, the organic shapes of the plastic fruit were exactly the place to start to get some of the core body shapes together. After which, I drew out some custom shapes that I slowly pieced together to make the rest of the body parts. And slowly, but surely, I pieced my core construction together, careful to prioritize creating a pose that would be both dynamic, but also be able to stand up and have an element of balance unlike some other 3D pen creations I've made in the past. Eventually, I got to a place where I was happy with the silhouette and pose, after which it was time to add structural support and build this thing up. the anatomy of the figure roughed in, it was time to move on to the solid surface coverage of the whole piece, but this is where I started to run into some trouble. The dual nozzles of the 3D pen seemed to alternate clogging, or at least not properly feed the filament through consistently. I tried using the mini 3D pen that came with the mat, but I couldn't get that working. So in the end, I just started using the old 3D pen that I used in the past, and with that sorted out, Covering the surface was still an incredibly time-consuming process, but the more it progressed, the more excited I became about how venomy my Venom character was beginning. Carefully modeling the head, I realized that in the context of the body, it was far too big, making him look more like a Muppet than a cool comic book villain. This just wouldn't do, so I tore the head apart and kept a small portion of it and started basically from scratch, aiming to be much leaner with my filament application. From this stage, really just came to adding all the nitty gritty details that would transform this model into a beasty venom from the teeth and tongue to his chest emblem and extra visceral symbiote appendages.
So at long last, ladies and gentlemen, here it is, my 3D Penum. Get it? Because he's Venom and I've him with it. 3D. Never mind. I am absolutely shattered. This took me three full days to do. There were some delays because the dual nozzle pen had some issues and tended to get clogged a bit. Plus the tip was a bit too fat. So in the end, after trying the pen that came with the mat, which also didn't work, I went back to the good old fashioned Scribbler 3. That got me through my first 3D pen project. Speaking of which, I did break my first 3D pen project through the course of making this project. There we go. Hopefully it'll hold together through a couple more years of being surrounded by my terrible coordination. It's like Venom has torn in half. I should like have him hold him in his hands. There you go. Ah! Help! Anyway, all right, that's enough kidding around. I sincerely hope you love the outcome of this video. I must say, I feel like this, the symbiote aesthetic is really captured with the 3D pen pieces sort of floating around. I felt like it could have been a bit hit and miss as to whether that worked or not. I feel it worked. You let me know what you think. Any ideas that you have for future projects, leave them in the comments down below. And while you're down in that area down there, make sure to please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed the result. And if you're new to Draw with Jazza, subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. I like playing around with a whole bunch of different art materials, supplies, conventional and non-conventional, but whatever it is, I like to try and make something special every video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell eBooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there. And you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.